guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I am finally releasing my Photoshop Action collection. Uh, it's a neutral collection for your workflow and I thought I would do a video just on a basic installation process and you know just how to get them up in Photoshop because I didn't really want to link just someone else's video especially when they're my actions so I thought I would do a video specifically for these uh, but this works with generally most actions. Uh, I'm not sure if the installation through a Mac is different, but this is just how it works on a PC, Windows PC. So first off, I'll just give you guys a little bit of an introduction to the actions that I have created. Um, so I've got five actions individually for purchase at the moment. They're $5 each. And then I also have a set, which is $20, and that is actually a $5 discount. So it works out cheaper if you buy the set rather than buying them individually. And the five actions that are available at the moment are all neutral tones. So they're pretty low key as far as colors and, and that sort of thing and brightness and contrast. I haven't created any really crazy actions yet for you guys. So this is just a really basic, um, basic workflow actions that you can use a lot, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, if you guys would like to purchase them and if you're interested, they are on my website. So I will link that down below. Okay, so let's get on with the tutorial. So this will just be basic installation, as I said. So once you've downloaded the actions to a spot on your computer or a folder that you're going to remember where they are or wherever you like to save your downloads, you just go into that area. So I've just downloaded it in my folder, Photoshop Actions. And most of the time, uh, a lot of actions will be in a WinZip folder. So you will have to unzip this to access the actions. So we just right click and provided you do have WinZip installed on your computer, you just go WinZip and extract to here or if you want to extract to another folder, you can do that too. You can also move this file to the Photoshop Actions folder. So that will usually be under Program Files in Adobe and then Adobe CS5 or CS6 or whatever you have and then Presets and then Photoshop Actions. So you can move the actions into there if that makes it easier for you guys to remember where all your actions are going to be. All right, so we have the one single action here. And there's a couple of different ways to install the action into Photoshop. You can either double click it and that will automatically come up in Photoshop and it's automatically installed. So that's really easy. Uh, the other way to load an action into Photoshop is to click this little button here and then go to load actions. And then you select the folder where you've downloaded the actions to. So I think it's here. And then you just click on that and press load. So that loads it that way too. So installing them is actually super easy. All we have to do to use the action. Now, this is just something that I like to do with most of my images if I'm using an action. Uh, I try to do all the editing, so skin editing and retouching aside from the toning before I apply the action. So I do everything, I save that as a PSD, and then I flatten the image. So this is basically my last step in coloring the image if I'm using an action. And then I just click on the action that I want and press play. And then it plays the action for me and I have my tones. The reason I flatten my image before I apply the action is because sometimes the action does not work properly when your image is not flattened. Uh, that's just mostly in my experience. I think there's, you know, some circumstances where it can work, but if you've got different layers and things like that, it, sometimes it just doesn't work. So to get the correct toning and to have the action applied correctly, just make sure your images are flattened beforehand if possible. But also remember to save like a PSD of all your other work that you've done to the image beforehand. So another thing with actions, um, with the ones that I've created in particular, I've left the layers in there. So a lot of actions will do this and I think it's the best way to go when you are purchasing actions or if you're downloading them. Um, if you have the layers still up and the image hasn't been flattened after the, the action has been applied, this will help you alter the layers to suit your image more. So if you find that the action is particularly dark on one of your images, you can just alter the curves layer or the levels layer. Uh, if the color's just not right, you can alter that as well and you can determine what will look best on your photos. And then obviously, once you've used the action, you can just flatten the image and save it as a JPEG. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. So it was a very easy tutorial. Um, I haven't actually done 
a tutorial on this before. All I've actually done is on how to create an action, which I will link below as well. So I just wanted to do this, as I said before, because I didn't want people to feel lost if they were going to download my actions and not know how to install them or, you know, use them. So I just thought I would give a quick guide on how to do that and I will link that in with uh, where you actually purchase the actions on my site too. All right, guys, well, if you're interested in purchasing these actions that I have created, please visit my website. If not, that's totally fine too. Um, and hopefully I will have some more videos up soon. I hope you like the actions. Uh, they've taken me quite a while to create. I did really want to get them to a point where I felt like they could be used um, on a variety of images because I know sometimes you buy actions and you find they only work you know, on maybe certain images or one or two images. I did try to make these actions a little bit more versatile, but I mean, that's up to you guys and, and what your photos look like and yeah. But uh, if you guys do download the actions, if you buy them, um, please send through some photos to show me what you've done with the actions because I would love to see. Another point to add is that I have tested these actions with Photoshop CS5, CS6 and CC. So they all work on those platforms. However, I'm not sure about the earlier versions of Photoshop, so I can't guarantee that they will work on older versions of Photoshop below CS5. Um, you can take the risk and, and buy them and then see for yourself. But um, yeah, I, unfortunately, I just can't guarantee that. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.